Hi, today I'd like to talk about some interesting properties of prime numbers that I discovered while doing uh, a lab for a class recently, a uh, programming class. Um, examining prime numbers has been something that's fascinated a lot of people for a long time, ever since, you know, ancient history people have been talking about prime numbers. And I noticed a lot of people had applied a lot of different mathematical operations to prime numbers themselves to look for patterns between them and have come up relatively empty. I mean, even the patterns in the ULAM spiral are relatively unexplained. So uh, what I decided to do is take a different approach and measure the separation between prime numbers. Uh, what I did was I took a list of prime numbers and I measured the separation between each one concurrently and plotted it on a point. That is this graph. Uh, as you can see, all of the points uh, fall in certain uh, lines across the graph and they have interesting um, properties in terms of how common they are. Seeing this, I thought perhaps they follow some kind of pattern, so what I did was I added up all of the ones across each of those lines, and I got this graph, which shows a very interesting result. Now, as I increased the number of prime numbers that I checked here, from 10,000 to over a million, this graph barely changed at all, with the exception of increases higher up in the... Um, higher up in the outside of the bounds. Every so often there would be a very high number spike, and that would slowly increase the average. So this graph is really truly something beautiful here. Um, but what was really interesting is what happens when I take the original graph that I showed you before, this one right here, and I average it out over every 10 numbers. I get this almost straight line. So the average separation between every 10 prime numbers actually follows a straight line with a slight curve at the beginning. Now, I think that's pretty interesting, uh, but draw whatever conclusions you want from that yourself. Uh, if you have any questions about prime numbers or how I generated them, just feel free to comment and ask, and I will let you know. Thank you.